If you guys need coins, training, players, even your mutt levels grinded for you, make sure to check out my sponsor's website, MrMuttCoin.com, and use my code Mike for 25% off at checkout. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing today? And welcome back to, this isn't even another, this is an incredible episode of Madden 21's No Money Spent. My songs go pop, pop, pop. What makes you think I'm not okay with that? I took my backpack off, off, off. Ready to change the game and run the track. Y'all thinking I'ma fall off I'm Thomas the engine Two seconds you get your rocks off That's why they said you're all soft So I paint over the scene like I'm Bob Ross I got weed songs If you smoke good I got these songs If you ain't so hood That you can't kick it Get it Have a party Oh shit homie don't hurt nobody I don't want this intro to be long. I want it to be in fact as short as humanly possible I want to preface this game by saying that this is the greatest comeback in the history of my career, potentially Madden YouTube. I'm not sure. I know Throne had a crazy comeback last year, but other than that, I, I don't think there's been a comeback better than this in Madden 21. Definitely not Madden 21, maybe Madden 20, I don't know. This is one of the craziest games, craziest comebacks that I've ever played, ever, ever. And I'm literally, I'm, I'm, I'm under hyping this. Trust me, this shit is wild. Hey, you know what? Without further ado, uh, go get you a water, get you some popcorn, soda, juice. I don't know, something to where you can sit down, watch this video and have a good time because this shit's incredible. Enjoy the gameplay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the most entertaining games you will see on YouTube. My name is Mike, I'm an Omni Spy player. And let me tell you, this game, is an exact representation of do not quit, right? You're gonna have some bad plays. You're gonna have some shit not go your way. Trust me, it happens to me in this game. I'm an only spent player, like I said, so I don't have the best team out there. My offensive line isn't the best. My receivers don't get the most separation. But let me tell you, this weekend league game was one of the craziest I have ever played. In this video, I'm currently running my gun bunch offset scheme. It's not obviously my scheme. It's a scheme that a lot of people run online, but I personally like it because I like to pass the football. But with passing the football, there's uh, a lot of unfortunate things that can happen just like that. Low balled out route and Deion Sanders does what Deion Sanders does. I don't have him on my team, but I know a lot of people that do, and I played against him a lot. Deion Sanders is one of the craziest, one of the most wild DBs out there. My opponent throws two out routes to his running back. Pretty well defended. Unfortunately, can't come away with the interception. Third down and seven, we send some pressure. On a fourth down and seven, I think I have a pretty decent user. My opponent tests me deep, and I think to myself, nah, there's just, there's absolutely no way that's ever going to work but uh, uh, well, we'll come back to that play a little bit later in the game. This was a mental error, a mental lapse by me. I wanna say I, I clicked the wrong button, but that's just because my brain was in a mental pretzel, right? I, I didn't know who to go to, whether it was the running back or the tight end. I just made a mistake. And, and when you pass the football a lot, that happens, that's the thing. When you run the football, it's very difficult to make mistakes because the only mistake you can really make is fumbling the ball. That's that's really out of your control. And this is a situation where uh, I was surprised here, right? My opponent chucks it deep, that's Brandon Cooks. Now, if you don't know who the guy on the outside is, that is Sneed. I go into the start menu and I check out the speed, right? I check out the stats. Brandon Cooks, 94 speed. Well, okay, let's let's check over on my team. Let's go to the DB section, cornerbacks. Let's look at Sneed, 95 speed. And that's with cover three shading over the top. Somehow we got beat team. So immediately, I am I'm not happy. <laughs> immediately, I am not happy. My opponent, uh, yeah, he throws right at a player. And again, like, I, 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 can't, I cannot express this enough. You guys have to not tilt, right? Tilting is the worst possible thing that you could do, especially in a game like this. Brett Favre rolls all the way out and finds a wide open player in the end zone. I had a soft squat out there. I had a deep blue out there. I had so many people out there. And in this situation, 
I was just getting flustered, man, right? So I have the tight end crosser open right there. He continues to run man coverage. I have maybe R1 open, but I didn't want to test the bright orange DB because <laughs> whenever you do that, bad things happen. So third down to 14 for me. I throw a check down, and yeah, well, that's that's what I get for throwing a check down. We're 4 of 10, 27 yards, two interceptions. Absolutely horrendous passing game at this point. So now I'm just like, you know what? We're sending the dogs. And, uh, well... I sent, I want to say six, my user was seven, and uh, we gave up a touchdown. So, at this point, <laughs> I'm getting destroyed, right? What is it, 14 to zero, 13 to zero technically. Now it's 14 to zero. I haven't moved the football on offense whatsoever. I'm personally thinking this game is over, right? I'm thinking I can't quit. I don't want to quit for my stream. I want to just keep playing it out, right? So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We got two big post routes to Calico right there. And on this second down and four, I throw that a little bit late, but thankfully Josh Allen's 97 throw power and Gunslinger gets it all the way in there. Second down and goal. We run with the bubble screen to Justin Jefferson and we actually get a touchdown there that was a big play for me right there because we were really really playing bad and uh well I'll be honest with you normally I don't show kick returns and there's one of two reasons why I'd show it a forced fumble or that we gave up a kick return touchdown with no time remaining in the second quarter that's absolute that is a backbreaker because guess what guys I don't get the ball starting out the second half. My opponent does. He literally has Omaha on Brett Favre right now. He is absolutely wheeling and dealing. 8 of 12. What? 177 yards. Two touchdowns. Absolutely killing it. Again, he just continues to dot me up. Two broken tackles from Shannon Sharp. Just to add a little bit of insult to injury right here. And I'm just looking for something, man. And unfortunately, we can't get it. Obviously, I am animated oh right now. God. I just want something to go my way. Just something to go my way. We have Mabel on the left side, Mabel on the right side. I'm just looking over the middle here, and he hits his running back. Again, another great read from my opponent. My opponent was a really, really good player. We go with man coverage this time. The angle route from the running back absolutely torches my linebacker. I shouldn't expect that to work. Again, he goes with the table route to his running back. Pretty good play, 12 to 17, 218 yards. And in this situation, second down and six, I'm trying to get some pressure, trying to go deep. And yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, maybe you can rewind the video, but that was an out and up or a double move, however you my want to DBs call it. Literally and he stupid. scored a touchdown. Now, what if you guys look that? in my comment section, not even the comment I'm section, quit, if you guys I look in my chat, people were telling me to quit. I was down 28 to seven with one minute and 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Cool. Nice, that's, nice animation. That's, a that's tough to come back from. But you know what I just thought to myself? You know what's the easiest time Whoa, to score? The, the easiest ball. time to score in football? When your opponent is up by a lot, in my opinion, right? Especially in Madden, because normally they're playing prevent defense. They don't want you to get anything big. So I started to realize that. I started to realize that the flats were open a lot of the time. And guess what, man? <laughs> I took my yards. I took my flats, because we all know in Madden 21, if you throw into the flats, you can actually get a solid amount of yards. I go with the Thank slant you. route to Justin Jefferson. We get all the way down to what? The three yard line, four yard line. And I'm looking to score a touchdown, man. I absolutely have to get something here. I go with the drag, Justin Jefferson, not open. And this is a situation where, you know what? To make a comeback like this, you gotta get a little lucky. You gotta get a little bit lucky. And that's exactly what we did. So now I just need to stop, right? And, <laughs> and we're down 14 to 28. What I'm doing right now, I am going all out. I am sending pressure. I am changing on my defense. I am doing anything to confuse this man. And guys, yep, sometimes, yep. sometimes you have to gamble. I left the running back wide open. A tight end was wide open on a streak. And acrobat Derwin James made a play for me right there. Pick six. Boys, at this point, I felt like I had life. I felt like I might be onto something with the defense that I was running. This guy has the football back again. And in this situation, he goes to his running back. So what I'm thinking to myself is, let me leave the running back open and then maybe use it. Maybe do something like that. I feel like that might potentially work. On this second down and one, he completely messed up my man coverage. I'm like, wait, the running back is probably gonna be open. What do I do here? I bait it and I get the interception with Derwin James yet again. Derwin James going all the way down. And ladies and gentlemen, barring the extra points, Oh, voice crack there. 
we will have a tie football game. I have the eye of the motherfucking tiger. Oh my God, I was zoned in. I was locked the fuck in. 28 to 28 with a minute and 49 seconds left. My opponent was crumbling before my eyes. I kicked him the football off and you know what boys? I needed to play more lockdown defense. We came out in cover three, and you know what? My opponent did a good job of checking down. I didn't want to give up the big play. I did not want to give up a touchdown. We had gotten two pick sixes. I get stuck on my defensive tackle. He throws it. And unfortunately, I only have the 90 Deion Sanders, the powered up version of Deion Sanders. I don't have the good one, so we weren't able to make that play. 48 seconds remaining. My opponent looks like he's just going to run out the clock, take his three points, and the game is going to be over. Again, I guess that's a decent stop right there. We got him set into a fourth down and two. I tried to ice him, but unfortunately, you can't ice anybody under 15 seconds or I guess, no, wait. You can't ice someone unless it's under 11 seconds or 10 seconds, something like that. He wasn't able to be iced. So at this point, you know, we have eight seconds left, eight seconds remaining, and there's really, there's really only one thing that you can do in this situation. And it's, it's not a play call. Uh, it's look to the man above and pray and pray because that's the only way you're going to be able to do something. And again, I have the absolute eye of the tiger. I go into the Hail Mary formation and I set up what I believe to be one of the best dots in the history of my career. Ladies and gentlemen, we set up the Hail Mary glitch. We have deep post on the left. We run to the right. Josh Allen throws the football. The right Calico catches it. He only has five yards left. And ladies and gentlemen, we get a touchdown to win the game. No time remaining. I just did that. If that's not one of the craziest comebacks you have seen in the history of Madden, I don't know what to tell you. Absolutely unreal poise from me in the pocket right there. I can't believe that we did it. I can't believe that we did it. My chat cannot believe that we did it. It was incredible. I was absolutely shook. But ladies and gentlemen, we found a way 27 points in the fourth quarter. I scored 27 points in the fourth quarter. I played against the Raiders. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I think it's the Atlanta Falcons. I don't know, man. Oh my goodness. What a goddamn game. I know, I, I know, I know you, I know you heard me say I have a glitch. I know you heard me say I have a glitch. And this is the glitch, man. This is the man of 3D beater. It's a beater, literally. Josh Allen on the run, dot, Calico. Oh, let's go. And that's why we put the chat on the fucking screen. That is why we put the chat on the screen. That's why we put the chat on the screen. Josh Allen, laser beam to Calico for the 3D beater. That, my friends, is why you don't quit. I really just fucking did that. I really just did that. I'm not capping. That is the best game I've ever played. No, that's not true. That was the best comeback I've ever had. I was down 28 to 7 in the fourth quarter. 28 to 7 in the fourth quarter. I'm so